Well, a couple minutes left. Right, you ready to answer some questions? Go for it. Okay. This is Carolina who says, I'm ready to file for separation. My husband cheated on me and he does not want counseling. He also cheated a lot when we were just dating. I realized I made a huge mistake marrying him. Should I stay for my love and commitment to God or should I go? He said they did not have sex. Is that adultery? I no longer trust him. We also have two sons. Well, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy being played out thousands of times in our country. Uh, the sexual revolution and the infidelity that's there, it's terrible. Uh, listen, that is a grounds for divorce uh, under what Jesus had to say. And uh, what you've got is an intolerable situation. You have a philanderer as your husband. Uh, but there was a former president who was a philanderer and uh, his wife stayed with him. But uh, I think in your case, you're probably better off to fight to get a settlement where you get your money, uh, you get looked after, and uh, you get free because this thing will weigh down on you. It'll tear you apart. And uh, your ego, your psyche, your, your inner being will be damaged permanently. So I think get out of it. Okay, this is Robert who says, Pat, I was recently told by a homeless person that because I did not give him any money in response to his request, that I was going to hell. Am I going to hell if I do not give money to every homeless person that asks? I think that homeless person is closer to hell than you are. I, I think he's a bum and he's, he's trying to play on your sympathy and uh, extort money from you. Oh, yeah. This is, I mean, this, the ruses they use, if you... I mean, I've worked the streets in New York, and I know how it is. And what they'll do, they'll lie to you. They'll tell you all this stuff, you know, and what they want. And, you know, one of them, I, I want to go across to uh, Staten Island. And, you know, I need some money. And I say, okay, look, I hear you want food. Let's go. I'll take you to the automat, and I'll buy you lunch. You're going to do what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.